on a ranch in western Montana, in the heart of the Blackfoot River Valley, animals with special needs are getting a second chance at life. Leaving their good corporate jobs behind in Seattle, Steve Smith and his wife Elaine Marker founded the Rolling Dog Ranch, a 160-acre animal sanctuary located just outside of Ovando. In 2000, animals that had lost hope of being adopted from animal shelters and facing a bleak future found refuge in Big Sky Country. The Rolling Dog Ranch is a special place for disabled animals and we take in animals with disabilities like blindness, deafness, neurological disorders, uh, things like muscular dystrophy and we focus on dogs, cats and horses. The sanctuary runs 100% on donations from the public, from private individuals. The inspiration for the Rolling Dog Ranch was really the animals that Elaine and I had adopted when we were living in Seattle. Most of them had special needs of one sort or another and we realized there was a need to have a place uh, focused just on disabled animals. We chose Montana for the ranch because Elaine and I had always come out here for vacations and we just loved the, the Rockies and the Northern Rockies in particular and we just knew someday we wanted to live out here. Our inspiration here are the animals themselves. It's just wonderful every day to get up, to be working with them and to see the difference that one can make with them every day. When you get up in the morning, uh, it's hard to know what your day is going to always bring. You have to be very flexible, but it's just a matter of getting up and getting out and taking care of all the various animals, which is like a two to three hour deal, feeding the horses, taking care of the dogs, checking everybody, making sure everybody's doing fine. And then all throughout the day, it's all the different projects and things you have to do. Because after all, here at the Rolling Dog, we are a ranch. So not only are we taking care of the animals, but we're also taking care of the property and uh, all those things that go along with having this kind of operation that we do. And then in the evening kind of starts all over again, working with the horses and working with the dogs. Some of our animals here include Wobbles, who's a cat with a neurological disorder called cerebellar hypoplasia, which is a fancy way of saying he wobbles when he walks. So he sort of flops and wobbles and he can get in a straight line, it just takes him a little bit longer to, to get to where he's going. Uh, we have Evelyn, who's a blind lab, she no longer has eyes in her head, but she is a very happy, sweet, loving girl who just enjoys life to the fullest. <laughs> We have a blind uh, horse named Lena who uh, went blind from abuse and she's sort of the queen bee of the place and just has a wonderful life out here. We've got a dog uh, named Travis who has a fused jaw and he, he literally cannot open his mouth but he uh, has a special diet and does just fine and he has no idea that anything's wrong with him. All of these disabled animals have a zest for life and I, and I think that's our most important message because so many people assume that a disabled animal is going to be unhappy, pathetic, miserable and they come out to visit and they see these animals close up and they realize that these animals are anything but that, that they're all happy, they're joyful, they love life and they just want to have a chance to, to live that life. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Whenever we agree to take an animal here, we make a lifelong commitment to it, and that is we will provide whatever medical care it needs, whatever shelter it needs for as long as it, it's here. We provide love, um, everything that we think are the ingredients for a happy life for an animal. We do adopt out, depending on the animal, depending on if we can make the right match with um, a particular person, we will consider adopting out, and in fact last year we adopted out ten of our animals. This year I think we are close to, to 10 adoptions as well. With nearly 80 animals living at the Rolling Dog Ranch, Steve and Elaine have their hands full. When Elaine and I first started the sanctuary, we thought we would be focusing just on dogs and cats because that's the kind of animal that we had in Seattle that, that we knew and, and we knew how to care for. And it turned out that the very first animal that arrived here was a blind horse. and. We knew next to nothing about blind horses when Lena arrived, but she taught us everything we needed to know, and uh, pretty soon the next blind horse arrived, and then the third blind horse arrived, and right now we're up to 24 blind horses. One of our goals here at the ranch is also to be able to 
communicate and educate people about the various animals and their disabilities. And one of the things we've done for the blind horses in particular is we've set up a website, blindhorses.org. And we have found in terms of the feedback we have gotten from many, many people, not only within the country but outside the country, that it has been a tremendous help as a resource for them with their horses when going blind or losing their sight. We're training a born blind two-year-old filly we have named Nikki for riding because we want to be able to show people what a blind horse is capable of, even one that's born blind, that has never been trained before, never been ridden before, and yet with the, the right kind of training and the right kind of love and care, they can respond and do amazing things. Our hope for the future is to be able to continue to grow, to be able to take in more disabled animals. We get calls every day from people around the country asking us to take a disabled animal, whether it's a dog or a cat or a horse. And obviously we just can't go beyond our, our limits that we have today. Um, so we do hope to be able to expand in the future, but we also hope, just as importantly, to to change perceptions that people have about disabled animals and about the kind of care they require or the kind of quality of life that, that they can have. Despite their disabilities, all of the animals at the Rolling Dog Ranch have one thing in common. They just want a chance to live and enjoy life. With the help of special people like Steve Smith and Elaine Marker working around the clock, that's exactly what these amazing animals get. We never get a day off, but we, we understood that when we first started that. We knew that was the nature of taking on this kind of challenge. This is a lifestyle, taking care of the animals here and doing what we do. It is a seven day a week, 24 hour a day job. Uh, it's something you just don't go home and leave. This is home. But you know what, we wouldn't want to have it any other way. We can't imagine doing anything other than what we're doing here, taking care of these animals, because every day, we get up and we're inspired by what we do. And it's the animals that are the inspiration.